The perimeter of the shaded part is 4 cm longer than that of the unshaded part. Part A, what's the length of AB? Now highlighters will be useful to solve this question. First of all, this line that I'm shading in red right now is a line that is shared by both the shaded and unshaded part. So it kind of cancel off each other. This blue line on the perimeter of the unshaded part can also be found on the perimeter of the shaded part. So these three lines will be equal to the length of that long blue line that I have highlighted below. As for the line AB, I'm going to use a green highlighter to highlight that. The shaded part also has this green line. So I'm going to make use of a ruler to illustrate where the green lines are for the shaded part. So this is part of it. This line here and this line here will add up to the green line found on the unshaded part of the figure. So as you can see, we have highlighted the perimeter of the unshaded part but not so for the shaded part. Therefore, we can deduce that these two purple lines here is the reason why the shaded part of the figure is 4 cm longer than that of the unshaded part. And since the two purple lines are of the same length, we know that each purple line measures 2 cm. So to solve part A, first we have to find out what this green line is supposed to be. Um, the entire line there is 7 cm, so you must remember to take away 2, so this is 5 cm. And all we have to do is to add up this 5, this 3, and this 3 to get the dimension or the length of AB. So part A, 5 plus 3 plus 3 will give us 11 centimeters for the length of AB. Moving on to part B, what is the area of the shaded part? I think the plan to solve this question is to find the area of the entire figure and take away the area of the unshaded triangle. So to find the area of the entire figure, we can cut this composite figure into three rectangles. There's one here. The second one and the third one. So let me find the area of the three rectangles first. The smallest rectangle will be 3 times 2. The middle rectangle will be 6 times 4. And the largest rectangle will be... Now this is 11, we found out from part A. So don't forget to add the 2 here. So the length of the largest rectangle should be 11 plus 2, 13. And, and then we multiply by its breadth. 8 cm. So if you were to use a calculator to work this out, you will end up getting 134 square cm for the area of this uh, figure. Next, we can proceed to find the area of the unshaded part, which is the triangle. So by using the formula half times base, we can take this as the base or the height if you wish to. Um, this is 2 plus 4 plus 8, that will give us 14. So half times 14 times the height will be 11. We will get 77. So that's the area of the unshaded part. So we will be able to find the area of the shaded part when we take 134, subtract 77. And the answer will be 57. So the answer to part B is 57 square cm.